Hey folks, welcome to Market Technical Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Wednesday, June 17th, 2009. Well, today, folks, we're seeing the whippy nature of a Whipsaw Wednesday. Whipsaw Wednesday is the phrase that we coined at InTheMoneyStocks.com to describe the day, the Wednesday prior to Options Expiration Friday. It's usually the most volatile of the week, and today is no different, folks. The markets are shooting up and down and left and right really amazingly today. We've seen some pretty drastic moves on stocks like Goldman Sachs and ExxonMobil, both up and down. And right now, you can see the market is coming off a move higher after it sold off very, very sharply to a major level in the moneystocks.com had isolated. Now, the technical trend line analysis we continue to do has been second to none, folks. It is amazing how accurate these levels are. Those of you that were in the video or watched the video last night that goes out to our premium subscribers in the Research Center know we isolated the 91 level just below it down to 90.85 as the key level in this market to watch if we were to break below this level here that we had isolated yesterday's low. Sure enough, we closed just below it yesterday. What happened to the market today? We sold off, had a sharp bounce, and then sold off, piercing that 91 level to our exact level, folks. Literally within pennies of our exact call that we had made last night. I also posted it on the free blog this morning to watch that level on an intraday basis, and sure enough, it was an exact call again by these technical trend line analysis tools we use. Now again, we also focus on price pattern and time. Time being what key levels or what key time frames do you watch during the day or during the week or during the month. It's also based on pricing, what pricing is, is exactly mirroring symmetry in the markets along with timing of values, price pattern and time. The, the pattern actually is very, very important because what you can see here in an intraday basis, and I'm gonna show you that right now, is that you actually had a great pattern here before the last move up. For instance, see this powerful move off the 91 level, by the way, we call this as a scalp on the markets, which was a huge one in the intraday stock chat, but notice the pullback sideways action right here after the move up. This move precisely, folks, was a good in spirit of bear, a bull flag, which again yielded a move up. Where did it go? Right to the 50 moving average. So right now you are seeing the markets being mixed right now. You have basically the markets just trending slightly to the positive side today. The Dow up 16 points, the NASDAQ trading up 13, and the S&P 500 just up half a point on the day. Right now Obama is making a speech on regulating the markets more and more, uh, looking like he's going to give the Federal Reserve more guidance on regulation and more power. Whether or not that's a good thing that's up in the air, we'll have to see how that that progresses. I personally don't like it one bit, but again, it's all about what the market wants right now. What is it going to do off of these announcements that's going on right now? So again, notice the gate today, guys. This is the key that happened. See your key level at 91.75. This was a level we had in our, our charts yesterday. It was a beautiful level. And again, 91.75 was our key number. This is a master number and master level at 91.75. And this, again, we had on our charts this level for the last two weeks. Just like these above, you've been following our key levels above and below. These have been on the charts for literally two to four weeks on our charts. Now, the beauty of yesterday's lower level here was we bounced off of it and then closed right below it at the close. Now, again, that can be taken as a possibility that it could be telling us from yesterday's close this market will go lower. That's exactly what ended up happening. But what I want to draw your attention to is the first candle of the day. Notice how the first candle of the day punctured that 91.75 level but never closed above it. If it can't recapture that on the first candle, you have to start looking for the downside in this market. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. And again, notice how a recapture of that line at 91.75 would have told us we were going to go back higher if we had recaptured it. But we did not recapture it. You closed right below it. Then you started to sell. And at that point, it's a pretty good bet you're going to go test your second master number below at around 90.85 to 91. That 15 cent range, a major, major master number on our levels, folks. And sure enough, what happens, the market comes down hard as, as Whipsaw Wednesday takes fold. You have a two bar surge to the downside, a sharp bounce, and then a reversal all the way back down and piercing that 91 level. Now, right off of that, and that's our key level, folks. Notice how yesterday our master number was hit, and then you got a nice bounce off of that into the close before you sold off. Notice how today we hit our second master number below, and then you shot right back up in spirit of bull flag, and then shot up to the 50 moving average. So you're noticing how these key levels, the first hits on these key levels, on these master numbers, are yielding huge moves in the market to the upside or the reverse side, I should say. That's amazing to see that, folks. A really, truly quite something, as you can isolate how key these numbers are by the reaction in the market. And again, today, the intraday stock checked some great scalps on potash, on 
Goldman, on the Spiders, you name it, there's been scalps galore because Whipsaw Wednesday is a good scalping market. The moves up and down are just whip, whipping back and forth, up and down, giving us very, very good scalping market. Now, the key here is this, guys. What you did was you came up here, you hit the 91.75 level, you had a pause candle, and then you push up into the 50 moving average. That's major resistance. Your first hit of the 50 moving average, always a good possibility for a pullback. And sure enough, pulling back right down to that 91.75 level. Now the market's right here, the spider's up about five cents on the day, beginning to tick down. Ever since Obama really started to speak here, you've seen a little bit of a micro sell-off. We'll continue to follow that. But the question is, if we pull back below this 91.75 level, which we are just briefly below right now, the next support level will be right here on the charts at the 20 moving average. Wherever that 20 moving average is, which currently sits at 91.50, that will be support on the way down. You can see we're starting to sell there a little now. Spiders have just gone negative back negative on the day. The futures are negative as well. NASDAQ is just up slightly. Oil had actually just gone positive and now it's moving back below, down about 30 cents on the day. Transports are negative. Utilities are just barely negative. Um, and again, you're seeing basically a mixed market today. NASDAQ is generally strong. You're seeing stocks like Amazon, uh, Apple, Google, Baidu, very, very strong on the day. Apple is flat. Amazon's up 91 cents. Baidu up $8 and Google up $1.50. So overall technology today is the strong area. Financials have been the weak area. But again, just to go over the key levels on this chart, see the 20 moving average. This will be first support. You have a little bit of resistance right here. Notice how the 50 moving average is sliding down into this 91.75 level. So anywhere between between 91.75 and 91.90 or so will be good resistance on the upside. If we burst through that, you look for the high of the day at 92. After that, you can actually look for the high from yesterday into the close, which would be right up here. This will be a good little resistance area for a possibility of a scalp as well to the upside at around 92.30 or so on the upside. If you get through that, then it looks like this would be your secondary level through that if we were to start to squeeze later today. And again, that would be at 92.70. And then obviously this 93.40 level, which was a master number from a while ago, will be the next spot after that. Downside, as I mentioned, the 20 moving average. After that, you're actually going to possibly retest the lows of the day, just around 91, which will be support down there. Those are your levels on your intraday charts to watch. But again, just watch here as we trade down. So far, this could be a bullish consolidation, but I'm not really buying it quite yet because we'll have to see how the market reacts after Obama is really done speaking here. Uh, he started at 12.50. It's now almost 10 after 1, so we'll continue to watch that. But I just want to point something else out, folks. Look at the bounce in the markets here. Bounce, bullish in spirit of fly pattern, bounce. Notice the volume. Minute. Ever since the bounce started, there's been a major drop in volume, which again is not a good thing. If you're looking for more upside, you need to see volume behind it, and we're not seeing that. There's almost no volume in this market right now, and uh, we had a great volume morning, huge volume this morning, but it's not seeing follow through midday. So the question is, later on today, maybe two, two thirty, three o'clock, three thirty-four, when volume does pick up, where does this market go? Do we see a shoot, you know, back up, or because there's no volume on the way up here, when sellers come back in, the volume comes back in, it'll all be in the form of sellers. This this is all stuff we're going to have to follow very closely and monitor. One thing I want to post, guys, and just want you guys to note is Goldman Sachs today was getting crushed, and then when the market bottomed out here, Goldman reversed, and Goldman really led this market up, and I want to show you the bounce on Goldman. Look at this drop on Goldman Sachs. Huge drop all the way down to about 139 and level, and then it actually had a huge move up from basically 139 all the way back to 142 on this bounce. That helped get the markets positive, but note as the spiders are selling here, Goldman's leading the charge downward. You can see a nice little drop back on Goldman. But in any case, that was a monster move on Goldman to the upside. Exxon Mobil, we can take a look at Exxon. Exxon has been weak all day, really came down to the lows, and notice the bounce. It was a little bit of a bounce, but really been going sideways here. Watch these later in the day. Remember, we've been seeing these buy programs late in the day. Over the last few days, they've been very, very weak buy programs between 3 and 4, but that could change. Anything is possible on a whipsaw Wednesday like today. All right, And again, just to take a look at oil, oil had a great reversal here, but is now coming back in. I just talked about how oil went positive. Oil was down as much as a dollar and change this morning, especially after inventories. Inventories came out today uh, slightly bearish at the time, but you can see the oil really reversed, but is now selling off as well. That should bring the markets back in just slightly on the spiders. And you can see spiders continuing to kind of just go sideways to slightly lower here on this pullback. But you have support coming in at the 20 moving average intra candle spiders right here. Now, just going to go to the 60 minute very quickly. This is the major level. This is our, these are our major levels here. You can see right here, 
See, this is our master number where we hit the lows and got it right on. We tagged that number beautifully on our call. We called that well before. And notice where it's coming from, this little support area right down here. This was isolated again in the Research Center videos. Pro Trader Watchlist knocked the ball out of the park on Goldman Sachs' call on a bearish side. We actually just took that off the Pro Trader Watchlist. Again, join this stuff, guys. Fascinating Research Center chat room. you got to come join. Take care.